Hey guys, welcome to your love reading. This is going to be for Aries for your rest of your May 2024. You can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. This is a no contact reading for you guys. Okay, so we're going to take a look at the person that you you are in no contact with. We're going to see if it's a good idea for you to reach out to this individual. And then what will happen if there's any sort of contact between you and your person? Apply this to your own unique situations. You may switch the roles if you want. It could be the person that you're in no contact that's one this about you. Uh, keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Uh, if this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective uh, Aries people. Not tapping into one specific person's energy in particular. Uh, if you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok, Instagram, my other YouTube channel that's dedicated solely to my travels, the links for those are in the description box below. Support me on there too. So, Aries. Tell me about Aries. The person that Aries is, no, is in no contact with. Is it a good idea for Aries to reach out to a person that they are in no contact with for the uh, rest of their May 2024? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for, um, for uh, Aries. One more. Seven of Cups. I would say it's not a good idea because I feel like this person has shown you time and time again that what they are doing is really confusing. Uh, they could be exploring other options here, you know? So I feel like, you know, if you want this person to give you more and show you more, I don't feel like this person's going to do that. Not at this time here, okay? Uh, we, yeah, we have the Seven of Wands. So here's the thing. One of the things I am getting is that if you guys are in no contact because because this person explore, explores other options here, you know, I feel like when you call this person out on it, you know, I feel like they are always defensive here. They don't own up to any sort of mistakes that they do here, okay? And this is really annoying because when that happens, when there is an issue and you guys don't resolve it, it kind of snowballs over time, you know? So I feel like when you have conversations with this individual, it doesn't really get anywhere, okay? So the Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, you know, this could be also an indication for you, uh, Aries, is that you drew the line in the sand with this individual and that you guys are focusing on, on, on other things in life here or that you guys have a full plate. You know, with the four swords here, I just feel like you guys are really disengaged from the situation or that you guys just don't want any sort of communication with this individual at all. Um, two of pentacles. Yeah, this person has a tendency to juggle. Here's the thing. I feel like when you called this person out on their BS here, they initiated, they, they dipped out on you. They initiated no contact, okay? So I feel like, you know, a lot of times, you know, people, sometimes people get angry for you finding out what they did to you that was wrong. And they feel like this person dipped out because of that. Ace of Wands. Ace of Wands here. Ten of Swords. So I feel like what led to no contact is that this person was exploring other options here. The Wheel of Fortune here. I don't feel like this individual will ever find a healthy, solid relationship because this person has a pattern of doing this, not just with you, but with other people. Four Swords and the Eight of Wands here, okay? Could be a situation that someone here could be breaking no contact and coming back around. Queen of Pentacles and Eight of Pentacles. But the thing is, I feel like there's one person here, which I feel like this is you, Aries. I feel like you are focusing on your work. You know, I just feel like you are focused on protecting yourself at this time here, especially from this individual. Seven of Wands, Four of Wands. Yeah, this is a relationship that you don't want anymore. I feel like you fought hard for it, you know, to keep things together here. But over time, you couldn't give anymore. 
You know, I do feel like there's someone here that's definitely missing you, all right? Uh, what else do we have for Fourth Aries? What will happen if there's any sort of communication for Aries uh, between the, the person that they, that they are in no contact with? For the rest of May 2024, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Aries. What will happen if there's any sort of contact here? <clears throat> so we have the Page of Cups. Yeah, I do feel like this person will reach out to you. I feel like what will happen if this person did reach out to you, I do feel like stuff is about to go down here. You know, uh, the, there, there will be an argument. There will be a fight here, okay? I do feel like someone here will try and attempt to reconcile here with you. But Aries, I feel like you don't want it. I feel like you feel like this person is too immature. With the Ace of Swords, I feel like you're putting this person out. All right, Page of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Uh, Judgment, Sagittarius, Energy. Uh, Page of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. And the Knight of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. King to Queen of Pentacles here. I feel like this person causes a lot of issues here, okay? And I feel like it's almost like this person does a crime, but then they don't want to face it. You know what I mean? We do have the King to Queen of Pentacles. That's a strong soul tie here. You know, I feel like also when, you know, you when you or anybody else gets mad at this person this person tends to retreat this person tends to get scared there is a lack of equal take equal give and take in this situation here okay um but when it comes to the situation here, I don't see this coming back together, really. Uh, we have the, uh, or th that there's going to be any sort of successful communication or reconciliation here. The uh, Judgment card. The Judgment card. Nine of Swords. I feel like this person is def definitely stressed out, losing sleep over this. I do feel like this person's really anxious. I do feel like this person's depressed. I feel like when you were with this person, I feel like you were all, always walking in eggshells with this person. Like, I feel like you couldn't say what you felt or what was on your mind because I feel like every time you said something, I feel like they took issue with it or that they thought that you were looking for a tr trouble or that you were looking for problems here. You know, I feel like this person also got really defensive here too. The Page of Swords and the Hermit Virgo energy. Knight of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, I just feel like you guys are distancing yourself from this individual and just focusing on yourself, focusing on healing, focusing on introspecting, self-reflecting here. Okay, and then we have the Emperor, Aries energy here and the Ace of Swords. This is an individual that can't be trusted because I feel like this person wears many different masks. This person lies. This person manipulates. Okay, and I feel like this is not the only time that this person has done it. I do feel like this person's also like a serial relationship person or a serial dater. They can't be alone. All right. So, you know, when someone can't be alone, that I feel like that's a huge red flag too. Yeah. It's like, a, you know, a sign of codependency or a sign of control. So Aries, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks guys. Bye.